Oh wow, look at that. A little children's daycare fan being installed inside. In outside rather, excuse me. What do we see here today is a 44 inch Harbor Breeze Tyler ceiling fan that is currently being stayed out here until December 1st. Three speed electrically reversible fan. Blade pitch on this thing. 10 degrees, maybe at least. Fan size, I don't I don't know. Probably a small motor, like a 3x10, maybe. Um, when you buy this fan new a box, they'll give you color options. Um, they'll give you rainbow brackets and blades, which reversible to white. Flute. Full out rainbow on the other side. So if you want this fan all in white, you put all the white on. If you want this fan in rainbow, you take those off, replace it with rainbow brackets, flip the blades over with rainbow blades, and voila. Reason why I'm using this remote is because we have the wire in a new fan switch. Which is right there. Cause the old one got pulled, the old one got pulled out. Like well, it, non-original, I just had a spare up here, so. This fan, I would say, it's a really good performer, but it literally gave me my grandfather hell. Cause I think I accidentally pulled the fan switch out. We replaced it and for some reason only works on two speeds. I have it wired on a remote so I can get all three speeds. And the, and the original light switch was pulled out too. So, and all that good stuff right there. And then this fan's going to see its final days. Got a chip there. But it was a good performing fan, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, let's start yammer stop yammering. Start the light. I am using a crappy regular bulb in there, and it can also be dimmed. And start the low speed. And you notice this fan will wobble. Bl the, the white blade irons were never used before. Sorry, I had to switch hands. These white irons were never used before. Still in its original packaging when I pulled them out of a box. So I think the factory might have F F up. Might have effed it up there. Sorry, that was a tongue twister. So yeah. Go to medium. See this fan wobbles pretty badly, you can tell by the chain. And if you're wondering if the pull chains are stiff. Nope. No, they're not stiff. Actually, that fan chain is stiff, and no, it's not because it's outside. We got that fan switch stiff, new, new, brand new out of its packaging. So, I have no use for this fan, so this is going to be staying out here until December 1st, and I'm going to take it in.
And we'll let this fan sort of coast because it's quite windy out here. I say on um, high, we're doing around somewhere around the 200s p.m. RPM. Yeah, I hate to see this fan outside too, and it was a pretty, like I said in the beginning, it was a pretty good performer fan. I like this fan, I had memories of throwing junk into it, that's why I showed you the ding in the blade, but, eh, all good things have to come to an end. And this fan hasn't sagged yet, I don't know when I installed it outside. Yeah. And I will be doing some updates when this fan gets saggy. Either saggy, rusty, or when it's yellowed out. But for now, it looks the same as I installed it. Alright. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.